All right, I'm going to make a video today on how to make this foldable on finding slopes through graphs, t-charts, two coordinate points, or through pictures. So in the end, you'll be able to open up graphs and look through your list of things to do to find the slope, or for t-charts, uh, or for two coordinate points, or if you're given a picture. Okay, so there are different things that you can do there, and we'll explore more about that. So this video is all about how to make this foldable. Okay, first thing you want to do is I'm going to start with a blank sheet of paper. Take your blank sheet of paper and fold it in half. Okay, so we're going to fold it hot dog style, or I'm sorry, hamburger style. Just in half, just like that. Okay, so I took this sheet of paper, folded it in half. Then I'm going to fold it the other way in half. So um, I like to make mine nice and straight. You can use yours a little bit off. Okay, and so if I open this up, I should have sheet of paper that has four rectangles. Next thing you want to do is you're going to have this paper sideways here and you're going to fold it to the side. You're going to take this edge and take it to the middle of the paper. So we're going to go to the middle of the paper. We fold it right there. I'm going to take this other edge and also take it to the middle of the paper. And I'll put that right there. It's not perfect, but we get the idea. Okay. All right, so now you have kind of like this book if you will is pamphlet last thing i need to do is i need to make a cut on these two lines right here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to use a pair of scissors all i'm going to do is i'm going to just gently uh, make a little tear at the beginning part i'll use maybe the side of my uh, presentation table here to kind of pull it apart or i can just kind of do it in the middle it doesn't have to be perfect but i want to get it to boom that crease and i stop okay now i'm going to flip it over to the other side Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this crease. Take it slowly and then just slowly rip. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect, but we get the idea. So now what happens when you fold it, these four here will flap open. Okay, all right, so start with that and then we're going to get started for each part. All right, at the top, I'm going to write the words finding slope. Finding, I'm going to put on the left hand side and then slope on the right hand side of the two little flaps here. Um, you're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and write all four things down. I'm gonna just go ahead and pause it, uh, and then you can copy it down. All right, I took a moment to write down all four. Uh, that's graphs, T-charts, two coordinate points, and pictures or images. So a graph, that's gonna be something where you have a Y and X axis and you have some kind of line, right? Uh, T-charts, that's when you have your X and Y, you have all these different numbers in there. Two coordinate points, that's where you're gonna have x1, y1, and another x, x2, and y2. And then images or pictures, maybe just a picture of a triangle, right triangle, you'll be able to find the slope of something like that. Okay, I'm going to go and start with the graphs first. All right, so for graphs, I'm going to open this up, and what I'm going to do is on this side here is I'm going to draw myself a quick little quadrant one, okay, where I have y and I have x. Okay, I'm going to make uh, six little marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six this way. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and label them. I'm going to take a moment right here, pause it, and just create the rest of this, and you can copy it after. So again, under my graphs, I'm draw this graph, okay? Six units, six units this way, and I put four points on there. The origin, one, two, two, four, and three, six, and I drew a line through it. Okay, we consider this to be a proportional relationship because it's straight and it goes through the origin. Okay, so here are the steps you're going to need to follow uh, to find the slope when given a graph. First, we need to use any two good points on the line. So good points means points that you can tell exactly what they're at. So I'm just going to happen to use 1, 2, and 3, 6. That's these points here. Could have used these other two as well. Any combination would have been fine. Just two points. So if I'm given these two points, the next step is to find the vertical change. Vertical change means, hey, if I start here at 2 and I'm going up to 6, how much did it change from 2 to 6 is the question. And so here I know that that went up by 4. Next, I want to find the horizontal change. Okay, so from 1, it went to 3. So from 1 to 3, kind of make like a triangle here, right, right triangle. Uh, it went up 4. And it went over two, I'm sorry. From one to three is two spots, one, two. So positive two right there. So here I'm going to divide now. The vertical, remember, triangle means change. So the vertical change in this example uh, happened to be 
positive 4. And I want to divide that with the horizontal change, which was 2. So 4 over 2. And the last thing I'll do is I'm going to divide, uh, reduce by dividing both by 2. I get 2 over 1, and that's my slope. That's how I find slope given a graph. Now that I'm done showing you the graph portion of this, you should have all that locked in. I'm going to move over to t-charts. Again, it went too fast. Just rewind it and make sure this is complete. So the t-charts, these points I just pulled from the graph, right? 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 6. That's all right here. Okay. So go ahead and follow along as I write down the four steps, or actually three steps here, to figure this out. Okay, for the first thing I want to do is I want to find the change in y, right? The difference. So let's take a look at the y side and ask yourself, what's happening as I each step here? Well, I can see that this is increasing by 2, and so I'm going to write that down. It's an increase by 2. Next, I want to find the change in x. So I'm looking at the x side over here now, and I ask myself, hey, each step, what's happening? Well, it's going up by 1 in this particular case, so I put plus 1. Last thing I want to do is I want to do the, remember, triangle means change. So change in y, that was 2, over the change in x, which was 1, and that's just 2 over 1, which happens to be the same slope as we found out, we're just finding it a different way. All right, so we finished graphs, we finished t-charts, now I want to go down to two coordinate points. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my graph, and I just happen to use the same two points, 1, 2, and 3, 6. Those are my two points that I'm going to be using here for my next steps. Okay, so the first, two, the first thing I want to do is, given two points, so I chose two points, um, I want to find the change in y values. Remember, the y values are the second ones here, okay? And so I want to find the change. So to find the change means to do the difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 2 minus 6, and I know that equals negative 4, okay? I could have also done a, a 6 minus 2. I'll show you down over here that it's going to come up with the same answer. 6 minus 2 equals positive 4. Okay, so either way, whichever one you choose to subtract first, it's okay, as long as you do the same for this next step. Next step is to find the difference in x values, so that's the first one in each coordinate. So over here, what I need to do is I need to subtract 1 minus 3, which in this case is negative 2. If I did the other way around, you just got to make sure that, look, if I'm going to go 6 minus 2 first, which I did over here, then you got to go 3 minus 1. So don't get those mixed up, because those will... Uh, give you some problems if you mix things up. One way you can double check is, look, 1 and 2 are together. They should be above each other there. 3 and 6, okay, so that checks out to be okay. Anyway, uh, those are the values that I get. Here's my last step. So now what I need to do is I need to divide those two numbers, okay? I divide those two numbers and, of course, reduce when possible. So, look, a negative divided by a negative, that's going to give me a positive, gives me positive 4 over 2, which then reduces to 2 over 1, which is my answer. Over here, 4 over 2, well, those are both positives, but I can reduce that to 2 over 1. So you can see I'm going to get that same slope. Okay, so we've done graphs, t-charts, two coordinate points now, and the last one is pictures or images. So in order to do pictures and images, I start off with a right triangle uh, that has a height of 5 and a length or a base of 20. All right, for this one, I just wrote them all out, but uh, here's the first thing I do. Vertical change. How much did it change vertically? Well, so I'm talking about this point up to this point. So it moved up a total of 5 in this case. How much did it change horizontally? Well, from that point all the way across over here, that's 20. Okay, now all i got to do is divide the vertical change. And this is an, a new example. It's not related to the others, just to let you know. And we divide it by our horizontal change. Last but not least, I know that 5 over 20 can reduce by dividing both by 5, and that gives me 1 over 4. So this particular slope here uh, is 1 over 4, and because it's word problem, you'd have to realize that it's a negative, but it depends on which you know angle you're looking at. I'm interested in you just being able to follow those steps there. Okay, that's it. You're going to use this foldable here when you're done. Uh, you're going to glue the back side, okay, glue the back side into your notebook leaving the flaps unglued so that you can open up and refer to this when you need to, and you'll be working on a class worksheet today.